Hello, we are here for one more lesson of this T-Flex Cam training course and the topic for today will be the 5-axis bounded milling. Uh, so we have a lot of possibilities uh, with this 5-axis uh, milling, bounded milling in this particular case. Um, again, as we saw on uh, simple uh, 5D milling, uh, all of these functions are being uh, changed and rewritten by the guys from TFLEX. So uh, I expect to have uh, options and functionalities a lot different from what they do now. And uh, even the, the integration inside the TFLEX card is not perfect. But anyway, we can do a couple of uh, things with this 5-axis uh, milling and uh, I will show you a couple of examples. Uh, I've opened this uh, model because uh, the idea of uh, this 5-axis is mainly to work uh, with uh, blades and uh, this kind of parts. So I will use this example. And uh, to work with this, the first thing I will show you it is uh, create a 3D path. So I will create a, a path by uh, the edge, create it, it's in my list, okay, I think it's, okay, this 5, and now CNC, uh, now 5D boundary milling, uh, I will choose 5D zone milling, choose my, pa my part, and I will choose my routing path uh, that in this case will be only uh, the path I've just created. So this one. I will choose a tool file. I will use the one I've been using. And basically let us create a path and do the simulation to see what it does. Okay? Something like this. Okay? Very easy and uh, it's creating uh, uh, a toolpath that is normal to, uh, to this curve we've created. So this is the easiest function uh, where uh, simply the tool will follow uh, the, the path. So I have a couple of parameters around here. I can use these options like a 5-axis milling, 4-axis or positional. Uh, I can create a, a local offset, uh, for example, let us say it's a 4 mil diameter, I can create a, 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 two, a 2 mil offset locally. And uh, what it does, it's something like this. So it will create an offset locally only. Um, I can take this out. Uh, with this option of the 5-axis, it will follow uh, the surface uh, in, uh, as a normal. I can uh, create this in 4-axis and uh, the 4-axis will be perpendicular to the Z. So let us try and see what it does. So it will be something like this, fixed angle. Okay. In this particular case, I'm not uh, uh, taking in, in with care uh, the collisions, okay? I'm just showing uh, the standard options. And we can make a positional um, milling. If I say, for example, I think it's minus one, for example, and uh, probably not went to the, the direction inside, but okay, it will it will show you what it does. So it will create this fixed position, but the user can uh, say what is the position to make the toolpath. So let us turn again to the five axis. Uh, we can use this function double curvature surface that uh, will uh, take in account uh, the model. Uh, sorry, it will not take in account the model. Uh, this is for a special type of tool and we can have this change direction, cross-section passes, in this particular case not, uh, it's not used. 
uh, we can have this uh, definition of the angles or not, entries uh, in this in this tool path, uh, I don't have it. I can define the precision. So we have a couple of uh, things uh, in this. Then we can, instead of having only one contour, I can define another contour here on the top uh, on the same way. Something like this. Okay, 3D path 6. And again, CNC boundary milling, choosing uh, the part. The first one will be this one on top and the second one will be this one on the bottom. And uh, again the same tool, it doesn't matter. And we can have this kind of uh, function that basically it is one contour to the other. So, and uh, the order of the contours in here, it is important because it will go from the first one to the second one, okay? So it's respecting uh, the contact point uh, of the tool. So we have this kind of, of tool path. We can deal a little with this, for example, uh, we can uh, have um, a cross passes, for example, and do something like this, which is basically the same, but it's milling on the other direction. Um, we can have um, uh, we can do increments, for example, number of passes. Uh, we can do the depth of uh, to mill with a depthening of one, so it will create something like this, a couple of uh, steps, which is also interesting. Uh, and we can define also um, the, the, the offsets, for example, by pass, uh, first path I would say uh, three, on the second we'll say one, and it will uh, take out some passes of of the toolpath also so which is also interesting so there are a lot of options that we can use and mix uh, according to what we want okay uh, besides this uh, function we have another possibility it takes a little time to create so i've i've used an example that uh, the software has already uh, installed and it is something like this uh, what we are doing in this particular case is uh, using um, this element here which uh, it is a body that uh, allows us to create uh, also uh, an, a volume where the program will do uh, a kind of a, a rough uh, toolpath. Um, the parameters are basically the same as we've seen, so we can give all of these uh, options. And uh, the interesting part on this is that uh, this body, uh, if we select it, which I was not able to do, transformation, uh, let me try to choose this guy, Okay, the rotation, uh, where it is, sorry, the rotation, okay, edit. Um, so if I, you see that the, the, the tool path is uh, inside these two blades and I will change to uh, something like this, okay, and now we'll recalculate the toolpath knowing that this volume will, is, not, is no longer in, uh, inside uh, of all this uh, space between the blades. 
and the program uh, is uh, changed and takes in account the new volume that we have. Let us select this. So as you can see, uh, where the tool fits, uh, the, the program is calculated and uh, the, the parameter that defines uh, this case here, it is the volume. So this is another possibility. Um, this uh, boundary, boundary uh, 5D milling has a lot of possibilities, a lot of uh, mixing of parameters. Uh, instead of doing a very uh, heavy uh, video here, uh, we will publish uh, some uh, examples, as we, we, we mentioned already, for uh, the, the other types of, um, of toolpaths, the 3D and all the 2D uh, toolpath types. So, uh, to start, I think these uh, notions are enough for you to explore and to start doing some calculations uh, inside uh, this CAM module. Anyway, if you need any help, if you need any clarifying of these topics, let us know. Uh, we are here to give you uh, the help and support you may need.